What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder with this Cramorant team. And guys, this team looks so much fun to play. I cannot wait to show it off to you guys. But if you are here for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, it only takes a second of your time to support the channel. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and bink, click the buttons. You're there. There you go. But this team looks so much fun. Considering we have the Sableye, Rhyperior, Gashon, and Cranberry, they're all going to kind of work together. Considering you can set up with the Sableye, Sableye is just going to be there. You can set up the Rain Dances. You can play a trick, give somebody an eject button. He's just kind of there as your setup Pokemon. But then you have this Rhyperior who has a Lightning Rod. So if you can bait an Electric move, you can just switch in that right here, get a free swap, and dump on the next Pokemon. Same thing with that Gastrodon. If you can bait a water move, maybe with that Arcanine, you can just hop into the Gastrodon, Storm Drain it up, and bam, you can get some extra turns. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite ability in Pokemon? Like, I think Cramorant's taking the spot for me. Like, this new ability, Gulp Missile, so when I use, like, Surfer Dive, he pulls up a fish, or I think you can have, like, the lucky chance of getting a Pikachu, you shoot it back when you were hit. It is awesome. It just looks dope. So I cannot wait to show it off to you guys. But let's hop onto the ladder and try to get some wins with this team. So this guy is rocking that typical trick room belly jump Snorlax squad. We're going to see if we can counter it with this team. I think we can. We have that eject button trick with our Sableye. So we're going to lead him, potentially go into that. He has no electric Pokemon, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that Gastrodon either because he has no really water Pokemon. We can't really soak stuff in. Actually, I kind of want to bring the Rhyperior just in case he uh, goes for that trick room. Yeah, I'm going to go Sableye, Arcanine, Rhyperior, and Cramorant. Or, instead of the Arcanine, let's withdraw and go into the Rotom. We can set up a Light Screen with that. And get rolling from there. I think I just messed up the whole order, didn't I? I think I think Cramorant got the lead now. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Like, I backspace somebody, and the person from third goes to second, and, and so forth. But it's just like, man, I just messed up the order. But I think Cramorant and Sableye is still a decent combo or lead. We can kind of rock out with that. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. G25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. But here's the obvious play that the uh, that the NDV is going to go for to follow me. But Rhyperior's here. That's actually good for us. I'll take the Rhyperior in that front spot all day. Because you know the belly jump's coming. Do I trick him early on? Do I just go straight for a trick? But I think the follow me is going to come here. And I think we're just going to hop here. We're going to go into a trick there. And we're just going to throw a nice little... Uh, do we go EQ? And EQ can, eh, rock side. I say we just go rock side. We can potentially, potentially get the flinch on the Snorlax in case the follow me does pop. The follow me does pop. Trick should go through follow me. It should just go towards the Pokemon you pick it. But so we're going to take this NDD out the way after the trick comes through. It's protected by the Psychic Train. That's some bogus. Who dodged that? Who, which one? Was that the Snorlax probably? Let's see. Show me it's not the Snorlax. Okay, it's not the Snorlax. So potential flinch? Potential flinch? Show me the flinch? Yes, sir. Okay, so we get the flinch. And now we're just going to roll out into a nice little uh, foul play over on this Ndidi. And I think I'm just going to go for a nice little brick break and potentially finish off this Snorlax here. Because we will go first. We will go before that Snorlax. Follow me, just pop. That's, that's chilling. That's chilling. If we can get this Ndidi out the way, that'd be dope. That'd be pretty dope. But I don't think we'll one tap in that thing. Brick break coming out. Yeah, yeah. Nice little damage. And you know the belly jump's coming. We will outspeed it next turn unless it has like a speed swap Pokemon. We're just going to try to go for a trick room. Take him out. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me, man? The belly jump does pop. Totally can see a Dynamax right here. Totally Dynamax or G-Max. Just relax. Man, if that would have killed, we would have been chilling. We would have been chilling because now he's going to go for another follow me. And then how are we going to roll out with this? How are we going to roll out? Probably another foul play, to be honest. I said we go foul play and then into a... Do we go Rock Slide or EQ? They're both stab. I mean, this only has 90% accuracy. Do I go for the EQ? No, we're going to go for the Rock Slide Life Orb. I know he's Dynamaxing. I know he's Dynamaxing. Right? Yeah. Okay, G-Max coming out. That's obvious. That is obvious. I want to get this rain set up so then my Cramer can roll in afterwards and do some work from there. But the cool thing is I is I know my Rhyperior outspeeds. And all my Pokemon will outspeed. So I feel like if we just... If one of my Pokemon go down here, we just Dynamax my Cramer, roll in there, set up the rain, take out the Snorlax from there. And just try to, like, stop the Trick Room. Because he didn't set up a Trick Room, which is type nice. The follow me is going to pop once again. Rock Slide hopefully lands, doubles into him, takes out the NDD, the Foul Play can slide over. Let's see. Yes, okay. Double land. Beautiful. This will not take out the Snorlax, though. So one of our Pokemon is going to go down. I think it's going to be our boy here. It's probably going to be, yeah, it's probably going to be our... Oh, nice damage. Oh, was that a crit? Or are you just doing that much damage, Sableye? 
Good work! Good work! I wasn't expecting him to do that much damage. But it is based on his attack. I should have realized that. Yeah, that's why it does so much damage. His attack's plus six. It's based on his attack power. Good work! We're gonna set up the rain now. We got the Butterfree. Gotta watch out for the Butterfree. Um, do I trick the Butterfree? No, we're still in a Psychic Terrain. We are still in a Psychic Terrain. Does it... Hmm, let me see Psychic Terrain. It says... Five turns, Pokemon on the ground won't be hit... Okay, never mind. It doesn't even tell me. Like, I should be able to set up a Rain Dance, right? I, could, I should be able to set up a Rain Dance. Uh, he's gonna start trying to put me to sleep. I'm just gonna protect and try to waste out a turn here. I am just gonna try to waste out a turn. I think this thing's gonna try to put me to sleep. My Rhyperior. I'm gonna tell him to get out of my face. Now, what's gonna happen here? Rain Dance gonna come out here. Yep, okay, Rain Dance does work in the terrain. Yeah, we get that rain going, baby. So, hopefully, my boy outspeeds that Butterfree. I need him to kind of outspeed that Butterfree. Sleep Powder's gonna get protected. Yes, sir! Protect it. That's some Gleam's gonna get protected. And it could potentially take out my uh, Sableye. Maybe my Sableye can eat. Let's see. Yeah, Sableye eats one of them. He's full health. He's chilling. Jack Button's gonna pop. This actually works great for us. This actually works great for us. Um. Now I'm gonna go into my Kramer. I'm gonna just Dynamax from there. Where do I go? Where do now? Okay, I was gonna say. Where do I come in here? Set up the light screen. I'll save my Rotom for the back end. Cause my Kramer is the fastest on my team. I feel like an Airstream could be type nice here. Or do we just go after that? What's it called? I feel like I feel like the follow me's coming. Not even gonna lie. I feel like the follow me's coming. But I feel like Max Geyser is the play. I feel like we just Max Geyser into the Togekiss here, and we go into the. We go into the rock slide. Yeah, we go into the rock slide here. Cause I think my Kramer will outspeed speed, but I think the follow me's coming, and I think we just tank up on this Toad Kiss with this Max Geyser with the Kramer. I would love to get a Surf off, but Surf would just murk on my right period. <laughs> special attack, Water Stab in the rain. Like, get out of here, gone. And my period special defense is just booty to begin with. <laughs> Let's go, Charizard. This is Charizard right here. Did we go first? Yeah, we do go first. I was going to say, my Kramer is rather fast. Nice little Max Geyser. Wow, we could have went after that thing, but hopefully this takes him out. Does not take him out. So we could have went after that boy. Sleep Powder is going to pop. Okay, on you. That is fine by me. Uh, what's the play call from here? Do I boost our speed again? It's going to pop out from you. A little bit of yawn action. Okay. We're going to yawn us. So Sleep Powder is obviously not coming next turn. Um, bum, 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 bum. Do I boost our speed here? Do I boost our speed again? I mean, we don't really have to. It's not going to really affect anything. I think I might just Hailstorm. I, mean, I can totally see a Protect, but I might just Hailstorm. Nah, not to get the rain away. The rain's so nice! Uh, I'll probably just go and stab Max Airstream. Do I take out... Do I take out the Kiss? I think if we take out the Kiss, we could totally be chilling from there. Just, just, just to get that Pokemon out of the way. So let's just go for a Max Geyser and try to finish off this battle here. Um, I'm gonna just throw in a Protect. Maybe we'll wake up quick, get a Protect on us. Let's see. We are fast asleep. We are tired right now. We're just nap time. And we're gonna take out the Kiss here. That's fine. My Kramer will go to sleep next turn. But what is this Butterfree gonna do? What else does it have? It has Rage Powder. It has Pollen Puff, I'm guessing. And Protect. That's what I think his moveset is. Yeah, Pollen Puff's gonna pop here. It failed! It failed! He was going for his Toad Kiss, but we dumped on it. Cramorant gets knocked out. He's gonna go to sleep. Night Night Cramorant. Or Charizard. My fault, guys. It's Charizard! <laughs> and we can roll out with another Max Geyser. I'll just roll out with a Max Airstream. That'll be better. But this thing's probably Sash. And then we'll just rock into a Rock Slide action. And try to get... Well, not try to. We are gonna get our first win. I can see this guy canceling out his battle. What's he gonna do? He is. There it is. Battle was canceled. Beautiful. Wanna know what this squad... I love this Kramer. That Kramer was fun to use. Once we got that Rain Dance set up, we kind of rolled in there, did some work. Now we can hop into battle number two, try to go 2 0. Another Trick Room team. Come on, get out of my face. Get out of my face, rocking out with these Trick Room teams. Okay, who are we going to roll out with here? I think the Gaston's going to come in here this time because he does have that Gyarados, which is rather scary. Rather scary. We could definitely bring our boy Kramer. Little off brand Charizard action. Sableye. Then do we roll out with Arcanine? We can roll strong with Arcanine right off the rip out. Because I can see him going Clops into maybe Togekiss. And just dropping special attack from there. That could be that could be solid. That could be solid. I'm thinking about that. But you know what actually bothers me is the ranking system in this game. Like, I love that how they have a ranking system. But it's like when you're offline, people are passing you and everything. And you come back, you're like, why did I just drop, like, 1,500 ranks? Like, it's like, come on. Like, come on, man. Like, I love it, but then I hate it at the same time. <laughs> but let's leave this save lie. I think Sableye Arcanine might... Or do I want to bring that Rhyperior? I mean, that Rhyperior could be good. Because if he does roll Trick Room, he rolls Trick Room. 
we roll Trick Room, that could be that could be pretty big. We are rather slow Pokemon, so I think that would be the call. Let's go Cramorant. Let's get Cramorant rocket in that front spot. We can go Gastrodon into Rhyperior. Yeah, I think I, yeah. We're gonna go with that one. He, do we think he's rocking lightning moves? Maybe on his Togekiss? No, Togekiss doesn't rock lightning, does it? I'm trying to think. It might no, it rocks flare. It rocks uh, fire. Okay, so he doesn't have any lightning moves. Not to my knowledge, unless he's having like a little sleeper pick action. I'm gonna throw it out in the back. But still, I brought the right period in, in case he runs that trick and we have a slow Pokemon in the back. But the Gatados and the Togekiss, let's roll out here. We swap into Gastron right here, right now? We swap right here, right now. I could go for a Hailstorm. Or I think I'm gonna go for a Surf into a, uh, a Trick. And try to get that Gyarados out of the way. I think we'll go Trick into a nice little Surf action. We can pick up our little Gold Missile too, which would be nice. So, we're going to try to get this Gyarados out the way. Hopefully, he does Dynamax at Gyarados. Because I think my Cramorant should outspeed, and that would be perfect. That would be perfect. He does not, but we're still going to get him out the way. I want to say bye to you, Gyarados. Man, I, I wish he would have Dynamax there. What are we taking from him? What are we, we get his life for? That is type nice, actually. Surf's going to pop here. We'll say bye-bye to the Gyarados. We'll do a little bit of damage to that Togekiss. Oh, nice damage. Nice damage. And we get a Gold Missile. And we get a Fish. Oh, we got a Crit on Togekiss. We can set up a Rain Dance next turn. Which is gonna be pretty nice, which is gonna be pretty nice. I mean, he's dropping our, our attack when we're all special attack, so I don't care if he hops back in with the Gyarados, that's fine by me. We'll set up the Rain Dance next turn, but it's good to know that my Cramorant does outspeed that. The Klops is gonna pop, try to set up the Trick Room. And what is this thing going for? What is the Sableye going for? He's gonna frisk us, he knows what he has. Does Gold Missile only hit back with physical moves? Oh, that did some work on my Sableye. Bye, Sableye! <laughs> he created all my Cramorant! Hey, let's get him, get him! Nice! Nice, nice cram. <laughs> cram it's gonna pop. He will outspeed, so uh, we can just go for another surf. I think if we go for a surf with the Gastrodon, I think that's fine. Right? I'm pretty sure that it storm drains it, gets the special attack boost, and it still goes out and hits. If I'm correct, if I'm correct. We're gonna test it out here, though. Uh, do I stockpile? I am gonna stockpile. I am gonna stockpile while I'm here. Go for a stockpile and then into a surf action. Into a surf. Cramorant's gonna surf right off the rip. Here goes the Storm Drain. Does it just eat it up, or do we still get the surf? Let's see. Let's see. We still do get the surf. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome. See, I thought so. I thought so. Nice damage. Takes out the kiss. We get a Pikachu! We get a Pikachu, baby! <laughs> Cramorant, get him! He's gonna set up the trick room. Yo, we got a Pikachu! <laughs> Let's go! That is hilarious. <laughs> Trick Room's popping. I like how even when Cramorant dies off, he still shoots back that, uh, the gold missile. <laughs> Look at Pikachu's arms. This is too funny. <laughs> He's just, like, screaming for his life in there. He's gonna take out my Cramorant here, but we're gonna shoot the Pikachu back at him. Uh, do I stockpile again? I could totally stockpile up again. I am gonna stockpile again with that Gastron. And I'm totally gonna go into another Surf in case we get it off. Because we can Storm Drain up this Gastron once again. Uh, dude, that is so funny, to be honest. <laughs> He's going to Rock Fall my Cramorant. So we can say bye to Cramo. We can say bye to Cramo. And I'm going to just try to boost my... Uh, I might Dynamax my Gastron. I'm not even going to lie. Plus one on the Special Attack board. And it, it could dump on this right period. Who is slower? It's the, the Gastron might be slower than the right period, too. So that could be huge. If we get this Stockpile off, we could be sitting pretty nice here. This cop is going to go for the will o -Wisp. Not on my Gastrodon. Leave him alone. But the nice part is, is if this Rhyperior takes out my Cramorant, he's just going to shoot back. He's just going to shoot back. Okay, Gastrodon is slower than the Rhyperior. You were totally getting the Dynamax if the Cramorant goes this turn. That is type nice. That is type nice, actually. What's going to happen here? The Rockfall is going to come on my Cramo. Bye, Cramo. Or is it my Gastro? It is my Cramo. Bye, Cramo. Okay, Cramorant goes down. He's going to shoot the Pikachu, though. He's going to shoot the Pikachu, which is hilarious. Hey, do it, buddy. Do it. And then we're going to Dynamax the Gastron. We are going to Dynamax the Gastron. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Nice. Does it paralyze him? <laughs> that is the greatest thing I've seen all day. That is the greatest thing. Pikachu. Flying Pikachu into the right rear for the paralyze. That's dope. That is dope. Okay, so we are burned. And we're going to rock out into our right pier. Who did we take out? We took out the kiss. And is it a 2v2 action? Is it 2v2? That's my question. Did we take out a Pokemon to his left side? No, okay, so it's three. So Dynamax is totally going to you. We are going to Geyser up on you, finish you off. And then we're going to go for a... Uh... 
I think I'm just gonna protect in general. I think I am going to protect. Yes, I am going to protect here. Because I can totally see that Rhyperior going for a max quake on my Rhyperior. If my Gastron does not kill. But I can totally see my Gastron killing. Stab Max Geyser. Plus one special attack. His special defense is dummy. It's dummy low. So I can see us taking out. We have we're plus two on each defensive side. So we're gonna be a tank of a Gastron. That Gulp missile was hilarious. We do go first. Oh, obviously my right here goes first. Then the Dust Cops is gonna go. Is he gonna go for an ally switch? That would be a lovely ally switch. Nope, Willow is gonna pop here. That's fine. Ally switch would have been the call from him. Wait, why are you going first now? I'm confused. Oh, he's paralyzed. Okay, I got you, I got you. But good thing we did go for that protect. Good thing we did go for that protect. He is paralyzed, so he's, he's, he's slower now. And hopefully this geyser can just slap on. He's gonna boost his special defense. But that kind of, uh, our special attack boost kind of takes that away. So it's back to even. But can this geyser take him out? Can we go to town on him? Take him out, buddy. Nope. Well, we're in the rain now. Um, I wish I could totally swap. I wish I could swap. But I cannot do much here. I cannot do much. The weakness policy does trigger. That is going to take out my rep here. That is going to take out my rep here. We're going to take out him as well. So he's going to take out my rep here. It's going to come down to a... The clops could potentially do some work on me. That's rather scary. We could boost our special defense. And take out that rep here regardless. But no. We're going to make sure he goes down with this uh, geyser. And then we're just going to go into a little bit of a, a rock slide action. Just to do some work on that dust clops. I wonder what his last Pokemon is. No, don't you dare burn me. He's taking me out anyway. So why would he burn me? That's kind of a waste of a turn. That's kind of a waste of a turn, in my opinion. So we, we, we take those. And the Quake is coming, obviously. Bye-bye, Rhyperior. Rhyperior gone here. No, please! Okay. So it's coming down to a 2v1. We have one more turn inside the Dynamax. So hopefully we can one-tap something with a Max Geyser. That could be huge. We are plus two on each defensive side. But we are burned. We gotta watch that. But we do have recover. So there are many options here. We can still get this win. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna come down to the wire. And Gastron clutch it. That is the question. So right here, gone. We're in the rain. We are in the rain. So nice Scald can do some work. We are plus one on the special the special attack, like I've been saying. But the Dust Cops is plus one on the special defense. And it is a special defense tank, considering it's Dust Cops with the Evo. It's going to do work. Man, I wish I had that Cram Rant still. I wish I had the Cram Rant. To respect Cramrack, it needs to work. He goes into the Gyarados. Um, mm. it's gonna be rather tough. He's gonna drop our attack. That's no problem. Wake's not gonna do anything, so we have to go into a Geyser Horn. We have to go into a Geyser Horn. Like that's a fact. That's a fact. Cause I need this thing out the way. It probably has power with. So hopefully we can get like a crit or something. Do some work on it. We're gonna go second though. Hopefully he's not going for an ally switch. I mean, if he does, that's fine. We'll still do some work to the cops. But I hope that Gyarados isn't rolling Power Whip. I hope he's not rolling Power Whip. Let's see. Maybe he's, if he's not, that could be awesome. Let's see. Geyser's coming out here. We do go first. Come on. Do some work. That does a, it does a decent amount. Hopefully he's not. Oh, he is Rock Power Whip. Here comes our Rindo Berry. Our Rindo Berry here, though. We have to take him out next next turn. We eat. We eat up. We have to take him out next turn. That's a fact. That's a fact. He has to go this turn. Trick Room's going to pop here. Was the Trick Room gone? No. Did he just... It returned to normal. Okay. That was kind of smart for him to go into. Oh, man. I was going to say we have to take him out this turn. We're stockpiled. Did we see us eating up a, one of them? I mean, Scald has to take out here. Scald has to take out. Or that's GG. Or that's GG. No! I don't want to lose this one. We have the Pikachu in her mouth. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Miss Gary. Nope. Eat it. Eat it, Gastron. Oh. I mean, we lost. Unless somehow the burn just doesn't affect us anymore. <laughs> but all this... Oh, no. It wouldn't have took out. Unless we got the burn. We did get the burn. It would have took him out. That would have took him out. They pull those pops. It does not affect me. Oh, no. It doesn't affect Gyarados. I was going to say. Why doesn't it affect me? Okay. But that is game. Man. Man, that was a good one. That was actually a very close one. We got to show off the Cramp Man a little bit with that Pikachu. But now we are 1-1. One and, one, and we can hop into battle number 3 and try to go for a winning record. Another Trick Room team, when is this meta going to change? Like, I'm so sick of it. But guys, if you are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag third battle squad in the comment section down below. I'd love to see who sticks around to the end. But here we go. Sableye coming in. Okay, Sableye, Cramo with the lead. I think that could be a solid lead. We can go Gaston in the lead spot. Go, go Gaston in the lead spot. Um, But I can see him lead in maybe the Butterfree. But I kind of want to go Sableye so I can Trick Room. 
Uh, not Trick Room. I can totally go for a Trick, take off that thing Sash. Then I can go into the Cramo. Or I can go into... Who's faster? I gotta check. I have 20 seconds left. I see it, guys. I see it. Okay, no, my Cramorant's flying. We're gonna go Cramorant in the front spot. We know he outspeeds. Uh, Rhyperior in case he rolls Trick Room into Gastro? Into Gastro? Or Rotom? I mean, Rotom doesn't really do too, too much. So Gastron is going to come in here in case he does roll Trick Room. We can play it a little bit slower. He has no water moves. He has no electric moves, I don't believe. Maybe Thunder Punch with the Conqueror. Maybe Thunder Punch with the Conqueror. But we'll see. I can totally see him leading uh, either in DD Hatterene or maybe Butterfree in DD Butterfree Hatterene. But something along those lines. That mixture right there. That mixture. But come on. I want this winning record. I want to get rolling strong. I can go into a Trick right off the bat if he does lead the Butterfree. Let's see. There's a Butterfree, you, but you know the follow me's coming. We cannot go for a trick inside this uh, terrain. Uh, so, 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 so. Hmm. Psychic Surge just pop. Um, I'm gonna roll into, he's gonna go follow me into Sleep Powder, probably on my Cramo. Probably on my Cramorant, I could. I'm gonna get that Butterfree out of here right now. Or, you know, I'm gonna burn, no. No, we cannot get the Butterfree out of here right now because he is gonna go for a, what's it called? He is going to go for a... Mm. You might as well just go for a fat play. Instead of the rain dance. Because you are putting me to sleep. Because you think we're dying. Uh, should I still go into the surf? I think I should still go into the surf. Even though Sableye is going to take damage here. I feel like surf is the play. Get the all around damage. Get my gold missile in here. And choice us into that. So obviously to follow me. I wanted to Dynamax. But I just saw that coming. I cannot trick. Which is tough. In the Psychic Surge you cannot do a trick. That's tough, because I was going to trick that Butterfree. Let's see, Surf's going to roll here. Do a little bit of damage. We're going to get our fish. I wish we would have got Pikachu. We got a nice little crit, and our eject button is going to pop. Let's actually type nice. We are going to eject button out of here. going to eject ourselves out. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Look at Cramorant Sprite with the thing in his mouth. I think this is the call. Let's go into here. Let's go into my Gashadon. We can see what we can do from here. See, Sleep Powder, obviously, obviously, like, we're not dumb. We're not dumb. We know what's happening. All right, another follow me action. I kind of want to go into that Scald, or do I go into, let's see. Yeah, I kind of want to go into that Scald over on, dude, Butterfree's so annoying, man. <laughs> do I go into the Scald? Yeah, I'm just going to go into the Scald, and I'm going to a Surf here, because Surf will Storm Drain my Gastrodon if we wake up. We're not going to wake up, though. Protect's coming out here from you. Smart little play. You smart little biscuit. Look at this play by him. Nice read going to the protect, and he's going to put my Gashit on to sleep. Ah, this game, man. I can't stand it. I can't stand the Trick Room Deans anymore. <laughs> oh, my lord. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Stockpile. We'll just try to throw in a stockpile. We'll go for another Surf, because we are choosing into that. Now we'll do some work. That can do some work. He's going to swap out his Butterfree, or he's going to go for a Pollen Puff over on the Indeedy, which is so annoying. Cramorant wakes up, my boy Cramo! Cramorant, my dude! Take out that Ndidi for me. Take out that Ndidi for me. Take him out, please. So the Pollen Puff fails. Take out that Ndidi. Oh, you little biscuit. Somebody hit me. Oh, he's buried all along. Wow, not Sash. A little bit of buried action. That's rather smart. Psychic, he going into my Cramo? Yeah, bye, bye, Ndidi. Ndidi, you're gone. You're gone. Get him out of here. <laughs> Now, this thing is probably going for a Pollen Puff. I hope so. Quiver Dancing. We should be able to take it out right here, right now. Oh, wait. His speed does boost. That is scary. That is scary. Maybe still... Oh, Gashadon wakes up. Oh, dude. If we would have went for the Scald. Wow, we're waking up big time here. Stockpile 1. Huge. That's huge. Do I D-match right here? Or I think he's going to try to take out my Cramorant with the speed. Who are you going into? Who are you going into? I mean, you could set up a Trick Room. That's fine by me. My Gastron's slow. I have a slow ride period. But I don't think he's going to try to set up the Trick Room there. Because he just Quiver Dances Butterfree. Quartal goes out. Whoever Quartal is. That is a Torkoal. I mean, he's not Trick Room. Uh, surf could be big. We are going to go for another Surf. And I might just Dynamax to try to change this weather. I mean, who do we think he's putting to sleep? Hmm. Do I Dynamax to change the weather? I think that is the call. Please don't tell me you put me to sleep. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Don't you dare tell me you're putting Gastron to sleep. Go first, my boy. Go first. Cramo. You gotta outspeed here, Cramo. I need Cramo to outspeed here. That would be huge. That would be huge. 
but I don't think he is. Plus one Butterfree ooh, against the Cramer. Cramer is rather fast, but still, plus one Butterfree might be faster. Let's see. Let's see. But I just hope he's put my Cramer to sleep. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's happening. Go ahead, Cramer. Ah! Oh, okay. No, his Torkoal is protecting. That's smart. Luckily, we are Dynamaxing into you. Surf comes through. This should take out the Butterfree, which is dope. And then the rain's going to change. We'll get a free rain change. Boost in our special attack. Come on, take out the Butterfree, please, for me. Please do it, buddy. It doesn't even come close. That Quiver Dance is too big. Oh, we get a Pikachu! He going after me. Yes! Yes! Yes, Cramo! Shoot it back! Is this going to do some work on him? Take him more. Take him out. Oh, Paralyzed. That's huge. Going to slow him down. And the Max Geyser is going to come. Change the rain. That is big. That is big plays by us. That is big, 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 big. We like to see that. We like to see that. We are going to take out the Butterfree. Bye-bye, Butterfree. Cool, cool, cool. No more drought for you. He could potentially set up a Trick Room. Uh, who do we have left? I still have my Sableye. Uh, and we still have Trick on our Sableye. We're going to roll into our Sableye here. And we could Trick. What do we think that thing's holding? That thing could be Spec? The Torkoal could be Spec. I'm not too worried about it. Then we're going to Trick whatever Pokemon this is. The Mudstab. That, that's, that's a big trick. That's a big trick. Um, let's see the info. Well, not the info. I just want to see what Pokemon he has. So, indeed, he's gone. It's a 2v3, right? The 2v3 because we have a Rhyperior in the back. Uh, guys just coming out, obviously. We're going to go after you. I can see him Dynamaxing, so we are totally going to trick this thing. Actually? Hold the phone. Let's go here. Let's go into the Geyser on the Mudsdale and trick him. Let's do that. Wait, is the Psychic Terrain still on us? We gotta see that. They okay, we cannot go for a trick. Never mind. But we might as well. I'm just gonna go after you. And I'm gonna go for a little bit of foul play action. Or I'm gonna put a burn over on... Oh, burn won't work. We're just gonna go foul play and double into the Torkoal here. Man, dude, the Psychic Terrain is throwing me off. I wanna trick that Mudsdale, though. I really do wanna trick that Mudsdale. We probably will do it next turn. Because I know... Well, I don't know if we outspeed. That's the quest. That That's the tough call here. We outspeed the Mudsdale. I want to trick it now, but trick does not work in the Psychic Terrain. Like, that would have been huge. Because I knew he was Dynamax. We could trick them, but he cannot eject out. He has no Pokemon to eject out. Okay, so, regardless, we're chilling. We're going to go for a Foul Play. Just on this little Torkoal. No, he ain't. Just do a little bit of damage. I'm just trying to get this thing out of here. We got a crit. I love you, Sable. Steel Spike coming into my Sable? Yeah, bye, Sableye. Bye-bye, Sableye. We're chilling. Uh, I can go into a Protect with my... Let's go with my Rhyperior. Because that is who he's going to try to take out. He's going to try to take out my Rhyperior next turn. We should be able to take out this Torkoal here. The Torkoal should be going here. But this Max Geyser coming in hot. And we're going to go into a Protect with a Rhyperior. And then into a, what's it called? Into a Max Geyser again. In the rain, baby. In the rain! And we're boosting Special Defense. Or Special Attack, I think, plus two. Oh, we do. Cramorant came up big. Boosting that Gastron Special Attack. And throwing a little Pikachu out there with the Gold Missiles. Ooh. Love to see it. Okay, right period pops. Come on, baby. I want this win. A little 2v1 situation. Thing is in it. it is in its Dynamax form. Uh, Protect's got to come from my uh, from my right period. We are going to Protect. Because you know he's going to go for the Steel Spike into me. You know that's happening. If we can waste out a turn here, that could be nice. And just get a nice little Max Geyser. Because Max Geyser could potentially take him out. Special attack. He's just a defensive Pokemon. Actually, it might not. This thing's probably a unit Dynamax. So we're plus two on special attack. Gastro coming in big. Coming in big. I really like this team. I do really like it. With the Cramorant and the Gastrodon combo, we can go into the Surfs, boost their special attack, and do damage at the same time. Like, that's huge. That is just such a big play. And while we do the Surf, that's like a three, like, that's a three thing combo. We get the special attack boost with the Gastron. We do damage to both Pokemon. And we get the Gold Missile ability. So, like, we're doing damage to both Pokemon. Using Gold Missile and getting a special attack boost. Like, come on. That's huge. That is big plays. Now, let's see. Is he going Steel Spike? He's going Steel Spike into my right period. Oh, not the right period. Little bugger. You're not doing any damage to us. You're not doing any damage. We just stockpiled one up. What was that? What was that? <laughs> you probably would have done more damage on my right period. But he's going to boost his defense here. This little match, guys. Can we finish him off? Yes, we do. What a shot, dude. Gash it out for the win. We get that winning record. Oh, what a game. What a game. Gashon MVP. Maybe Cram ran close second, but that was a good game. 
Get that winning record. Gastron rolls out. Same thing with Kramer. We do some work. This Kramer team, yo, it was so much fun to use. We have the gold missile ability. We we're shooting Pikachus and fish at Pokemon. Like, come on. What more do you want? We have the Sableye. We can play some tricks, some rain dances. Just get rolling with this squad. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.